What's going on my hockey fans? Welcome back to another video. I just want to go over and talk about the Seattle Kraken draft last night. Obviously we lost our boy Brandon Tenev and also in a kind of lost Jared McCann as well. Um, but overall, I, I don't know how good of a draft Seattle actually had. Um, I think they could have gotten better players. Obviously, I understand they have to fit that all into a salary cap. But I do believe that they could have gotten some better tier players to play on that first line, get on that second line. Um, not to discredit any of Ron Francis's picks, but I do believe that, again, he could have went with somebody better. Just talking about the Flyers real quick, too. I mean, they, they unprotected guys like JVR and Voracek. I think they're two guys that they could have possibly went after. I think more of Vor um, excuse me, more of JVR than Voracek. Um, Philly's kind of already expressed that they want him out of Philadelphia, but instead they went with Tarnaski. Um, so I'm kind of confused about that. Also, you know, not taking Tarasenko. I think that was probably a guy that they could have gone after and kind of shocked that they didn't. I know a lot of the hockey fans were shocked that they didn't go after him. So a little confused about that one as well. Also, you know, people kept talking about Carey Price, Carey Price. I, I think they made the right decision by not drafting Carey Price last night. Um, solely because of that cap hit. I mean, he has a $10 million cap hit going into the season. So, and with the uncertainty of his injuries, obviously he said he's going to go to a doctor and get that checked out. He might have a bad knee going into the season, might need surgery before then. So it would be a big risk to take him. Obviously, you would have him for the next like four or five years, whatever's left of his contract. But overall, I just want to go over some of the main points that are of their draft. Um, I do like I do like the Drager pick from Florida as their starting goaltender. Obviously, I think he's going to win that job over Vitek Vanacek. I, I do like him, though, as a backup, too. Vanacek's a great backup goaltender. Um, Giordano, obviously, the lead point here on defense. Um, obviously, a great defender from the Flames. They also picked up Jamie Alexiak. Adam Larson, I think they, these three defensemen are pretty solid that they picked up. Um, you know, overall, solid players. I think Larson's going to be great for them. But, again, I think they could have reached out and got more stars here. Um, kind of what Vegas said. Obviously, I know it's not going to be the same. It's never going to be the same like that. But I do believe, you know, they kind of messed up a little bit on this draft. But let me get through the forwards that I believe are at our top six here, or top, you know, few, few forwards here. Um, obviously, Jordan Everlay from the Islanders. Jared McCann from Pittsburgh to Toronto to now Seattle. Um, he's technically been on three teams now in the last week. Um Obviously, Jared McCann's a great pickup for them. Brandon Tanev, awesome pickup for them, as well as Yanni Gord. I, I, I think that's really where it rounds up to be their top four picks uh, for forwards. Um, obviously, if you guys think somebody else is better, always comment down below. The only thing I'll give Ron Francis here is, you know, it was a lot, like I said, it was a lot different. They didn't make any moves. They didn't make any side deals. Vegas was trading picks. They were getting players, trading them to other teams. They were souping up their picks. Um, but, again, uh, Francis didn't do any of this. And kind of surprising that they didn't make any side deals at all, whereas, like I said, Vegas made 10 um, just a couple seasons ago. So very shocking to me. But um, the one good thing about this draft is that they aren't done. They could go get these free agents. They have $29 million left in cap space. Um, so... Again, they could go out and get a pretty couple solid free agents. Um, obviously, I don't have those names for you who I think they will go pick up. Um, but just sitting here looking at what is left over right now, they still have that $29 million in cap space. Do they spend it all? Absolutely not, and they shouldn't. But again, they can go out and go get some solid free agents too. But that's my view on the draft last night. Again, I when you look at... Vegas's draft compared to this draft Vegas blows them out of the water uh, I think their draft was so much better than than Seattle's but who am I I'm just a guy sitting in the basement right now talking about them so you know Ram, uh, Ron Francis knows what he's doing so we'll, we'll see what happens man it's going to be an exciting season and I uh, can't wait for them to be you know playing games October against uh, Vancouver so first game October 23rd for them is their first home game 
against the Vancouver Canucks. So that'll be a fun one. Again, always like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody's feedback. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.